Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're gonna get in this fourth bedroom. Used to be DJ's. Now my husband claims it as his gaming room, even though right now it's taken over by everything. Um, it's also the room where our washer and dryer is and our extra freezers and icebox or plus a lot of my husband's like work stuff and just stuff okay so it's full of stuff and so i'm gonna get in here today and i'm not gonna touch the floor at all all i want to do is focus on the tops of the freezers let me see if i can show you so top of this freezer is stuff top of this freezer stuff and then you've probably seen this a whole lot more but on top of these shelves stuff so I want to clean this um I don't really know what exactly I'm gonna do I'm not getting rid of anything I'll tell you that now I'm not decluttering anything I'm just trying to organize it um I also need to clean the top of the ice box that's in the kitchen I'm gonna try to get to it all today I don't know um but let's get started These shelves were really bad. I guarantee they hadn't been cleaned since we moved into this house. I really want to take them down and refinish them. When we bought this house, they had this motion censored light up there. And I'm glad they have it up there because it gets dark in that little corner at night and during the day, actually, when you're trying to do to wash your clothes. But um, when filming this, I didn't realize until now that the video quality was actually better when that light was off. There's some stuff up here on these shelves that could go out to the shop as well. We have the chlorine tablets for the pool and a big thing of baking soda and the pool bleed. Uh, it's liquid chlorine. All the stuff for the pool anyway is up here. Um, I have a single serving homemade ice cream maker up there. And I have 
a hamburger patty maker up there and party stuff that gets used maybe once or twice a year there's plenty of stuff up there that need to go to the shop and be decluttered we do get yard eggs so we save these i also save these for food in the freezer I had to get my son to come in and get this stuff down for me because I couldn't reach with the stool. And he's over six feet tall and even with the stool, he could barely reach to. I still can barely reach all of it. And here's the after of these shelves, which now I feel like they look too cluttered. Okay, so we're back, it's day two of cleaning the tops of these freezers. Yesterday I did over the shelves over the washer and dryer, but I'm too short to reach the tops of these. I had DJ take down this stuff for me and then I had my husband bring in his four foot ladder so that I could reach up there to clean and get stuff put back. So I would prefer to have the paint and stuff in the shop and not in the house. But when I'm gonna need the paint, I'm not gonna wanna have to go to the shop to get it. So I'll just put it back on top of this black one, this black uh, refrigerator. Um, battery's almost dead. Um, yeah, back on top of that one and, and we'll go from there, so. So I'm gonna use the blue side to try to dust up top of these. And then the white side, which is the mopping side, I'll just spray some cleaner on it. And hopefully that does the trick. I mean, honestly, the tops of these haven't been cleaned probably since we moved in this house, so two and a half years ago. But I have to improvise. This is not what we dreamed of. So on top of this black ice box is where we've always kept the um, small gallon of extra paint for these walls. And then I have several cans of different stains and polycrylic, polyurethane, sander, um, what else did I have up there? I have some painting, um, the trays for, um, you know, when you're using a roller. Oh, where are my words today? Anyway, this is where I've always just kept all of that kind of stuff because I'd rather it be, I would prefer it be in the shop, but like I said earlier, I would like it to be in my reach right here close, which I don't do projects very often, so it would probably be fine to just put it out to the shop, but for now, it's just all stored up here. Been selling things I will. Okay, so I took some of the stuff that was on the floor and put that up there as well. This is stuff that really hardly ever gets used. I do have some planters and seeds that hopefully I'll get to. I don't know. The oil, we had bought that from my truck, but then we traded it in. Luckily, my husband drives the same thing I drive or used to drive, so it will work for his truck. And then the bug remover, 
windshield wiper fluid. It's just a bunch of stuff that really should be out in the shop, most of this, but for now, we'll just continue to keep it up there. So on the top of this one, I'm gonna clean it off. And I think the only thing that's gonna go up there for now is this, which is our crawfish trays. And then a really pretty, um, it's like a dessert tray, I guess. You can put anything in it. It's very heavy. Um, I got it for Christmas a few years ago. Kinda yucky. I'll just pull that off of there. Throw it in the washer. of that one in the corner we hardly ever get to that stuff so i just shoved it all up on top of that one this is our crawfish trays top of this one was pretty dusty and everything up there besides that roll of saran wrap and my coffee cream that I'm going to put back up in a little bit everything else that was up there did not go up there the other ice box the one closer to the dining room I didn't even clean off the top of that one because that's just where the kids have their stuff for slime and whatnot so that's going to be the end of this video. I know it's kind of short, but I hope it motivated you just a little bit to get up and get some stuff done around your house. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Bye.